Hi, my name is Tom Crandall from Gear Mashers, and we're going to be taking a look at cassettes and how to take them off. So, uh, with a cassette, you have something called a lock ring. So, it's this black ring here. And so, what that does is that holds the cassette onto the hub here. And then you have different uh, uh, teeth in here for different gears. And so, I believe this is a, a 10 speed. And so, normally, what you have when you're going to be taking off a cassette or putting on a cassette, you're going to use some tools. And so the tools is you're going to have a lock ring tool. And so what this does is it goes inside and there's little notches here that these fit onto. And when you slide it in, it allows you to unloosen the lock ring. You're also going to need something like an adjustable wrench. And so this works like that. You just adjust it until it's nice and tight and then you would insert this into the lock ring and then either loosen or tighten it. Um, the other tool that you would typically use is called a chain whip and so what the chain whip does is it wraps around the cog something like this and allows you to have some leverage so that you can actually use the, these two tools to loosen or tighten the lock ring because it you want it uh, pretty tight against the cassette so that the cassette doesn't move. Well, Park Tool introduced or Park Tools introduced some new tools that make life a little easier. When you're using the cassette uh, lock ring tool, you have to remove the quick release here. So I can't insert this with a quick release here, so I'd have to unscrew it and then take it out. But Park has this new tool, and so this is the FR5H, and so what it allows you to do, you can see it's hollow, and so you can slip it right over the quick release and then slide it in, and now I have something uh, that I can hold on to. And they also introduced another tool, and this is the cassette pliers. So rather than the chain whip, I just grab with the pliers and then put this tool in here. And then I can either loosen, I just loosened it, or tighten down the cassette. It makes it a lot easier just using these two tools rather than having to get out the adjustable wrench, make sure that this fits nice, and then using this chain whip, which has always been really weird. So, um, now it's really easy to remove a cassette um, just with these two tools and um, so why would you want to remove a cassette well this is a tax neo trainer this is one of their top of the line smart trainers by tax and they don't uh when they give you the trainer or when you purchase the trainer it doesn't come with a cassette so you have to add one and so i rather have tools available rather than having to take the trainer to the shop to have an, a cassette put on. Um, another reason why you might want to uh, take a cassette off or add one, uh, it could be that uh, maybe you get a new cassette and you want to put it on yourself rather than take it to the shop. You can do it that way. Um, they do suggest that if you add a new cassette, you want to also add new chain. And so there's chain tools that would allow you to put on a new chain on your bike, or you could take it up to the bike store. A lot of times what happens is when you add a new cassette or chain, uh, it might mess up your gearing a little bit. Uh, so it's, you know, if you're good working with gears, um, then it's uh, pretty cool. But if you're not, you can just take it to the bike store. But again, I wrote an article that talks in detail about these two tools and why they're so cool. And so you can go to gearmasters.com to check that out. And I don't think I'm going to really need this chain whip anymore now that I have the pliers. I like, I love these things. So anyway, check it out, gearmasters.com. Thanks for watching.